Yeah, welcome everyone to today's video where today we have been we are testing a little bit um a, yeah the new familiars yeah jade worm and as well as hellrider um yeah in the first test we have tf Myanmar, Myan Myan. Uh, i think on the paper he is a little bit weaker let's say on the paper when, when i mean on the paper it is um it means that some gear pieces or artifacts are a little bit weaker but um, of course, yeah, on we, accounts weaker on the paper can also um, a win against someone which uh, seems to be uh, stronger. And yeah, he does win, or yeah, he he won against Bevir. Um, and let's uh, check a little bit out. So Bevir tested like first of all without the Jade Worm and a six five nine versus a nine nine two. Um, from Myan Myan, so a, a pretty strong 992 without any calf back march. And uh, Tian, Tian Man, Myan Myan used the Jade Worm and the Hell Rider. So I want to show you a little bit what kind of people use what familiars. And um, yeah, you could check them out, yeah, test what might work. Bevir even used here Griffin um, to, to see the result. And obviously, yeah, Myan Myan is a little bit weaker, but still, um, yeah he managed to win by a very good amount i would say so maybe this is something you might use as well uh here we have a 400k difference even and there you can see his gear is a lot weaker than bivir so maybe that is a, a good choice yeah next up and i'm sorry it is in german i forgot to switch the language we have again bivir testing a 659 this time against pretty k um also we have some more tests against pretty k and pretty k is from from the paper, it's very similar um, compared to um, to to Bivir, uh, and uh, yeah, that is why it's also a very good test, I would say. Uh, so we had some struggles to fill, but in the end, we were able to fill. Uh, I was yeah told Bivir to carpet at least, uh, otherwise I think the test won't be as reliable but anyway uh, i did not have carpets <laughs> so uh yeah let's see how the result is going so bevere is slowly carpeting at least um yeah i mean it's just a test so we won't waste 50s for that and yeah it is a win and it is a pretty nice win by 200k difference uh pretty k does not seem to have the jade worm while we seem to have it of course we also have kind of the counter because they were heavy in so that is why it makes also pretty tough to say this familiar works better than the other because you know there is not only familiars there's also um let's say countered comps but of course I want to give you some ideas here and uh, I hope I gave you some ideas here as well yeah, Bevere had two additional hits and uh, yeah, I still want to show them, although I don't have the recording this time in English, yeah. And um, yeah, the first one was a loss. Okay, Bevere was 600k short, but I just still want to show you, let's say, somehow the difference in familiar use. So we have Bevere on the side with Jade Worm and the Helldrider plus the 3600s, uh, while we have Pretty K on the other side using Helldrider, uh, two 600s, 250s. Uh, he's coming a 992 with a calf back march. Bevere is more like a 424 ish thing. Um, and for that, if you consider 992 as a counter, the result looks not too bad. But of course, yeah, you can't really um, say now, okay, this is better or not because the result seems not too reliable. Here, I show again also the gear of both accounts. Yeah, pretty, pretty equal. Um, if we look now on the second hit, it's probably a little bit more reliable. Uh, here we have uh, both sides with not too many T5, uh, but uh, pretty equal actually. So it's actually a good comparison, I would say. Um, so Bevir is kind of a 992 with a calf back march, while we have uh, pretty K with a. I don't know. It's not a 111, but it's more like a 433 with a calf back march, something like this. 433 calf back march. Um, and he is again not using the Jade Worm. Um, he's using this lineup. So, um, yeah. And Bevere is using, 
is also not using the jade worm here. Um, so yeah, in the end, I think it is good to check um, the, what the enemy is sending, adopt your strategy, yeah, not always use the same thing. I think that is probably my get to go message that, yeah, you can't really say this is the best lineup, this is the worst, because in the end, it depends always on your enemy and um, yeah, you need to yeah adapt uh, what he's sending, send maybe something that you know is working or test what might be working um, and not always rely on the same thing. 